Welcome back to today's mini episode of the LinkedIn crash course that I've been building. And today I want to give you three common LinkedIn mistakes that mean your content isn't converting your audience. So for a lot of my audience, um, you're working with senior executives, C-suite, CEOs, founders, and the like. And what I see a lot of the time is people get disheartened very quickly because they've been posting content out. It's not driving results back to them. So the first thing to point out to people is that it can take a long time to start to see these results. As with anything that's worth building, it's worth building well, but you've got to stay consistent. You've got to have faith in the process and you've got to stick with it. Um, think of it as, you know, a, a, a digital gym. You've got to keep working out. And there are three mistakes that people make most commonly are one, not sticking with the process for long enough. You know, do it for a month and it's not driving results. And actually my energies and time will be better spent elsewhere. Guarantee you it's not. Guarantee you this is worth the effort. If you get to the end of six to seven months, you will start to see results. That is a starting point. The other mistake I see people making is that they talk solely about features, benefits, services, your business, in other words, people don't care. Not at the beginning. There is a place for it. It's sprinkled over the top. We've said this before, but what they want to know about is what are the challenges that they are facing? the things that they are feeling, the worries and concerns that they have in their job or their business and their day-to-day -day life. And how does your advice take that pressure away, take those negativities away? How can they benefit from your experience and how can they do that for free? Because that's when they grab their attention. That's how they start to notice that you're in their feed. And that's where they start to consider hmm, in the right time and place, this person might be somebody that I call on for their products and services. And then the last mistake that people make is they, they feel ick. They feel, it doesn't feel nice asking people to do things, right? So you get to the end of your post, what do you want them to do at the end of that? Your call to action. And people worry that that needs to be a direct sales message. It needs to be, oh, if you want to buy my services, Here's how you can do it. It doesn't, doesn't need to be that. It can be something very, very simple like join my mailing list, follow me for more advice, um, join my YouTube channel, come see my podcast. There are a million different ways of doing that without being salesy. So do not worry about trying to shoehorn a bit of sales into the end of your post. So if you don't ask though, you will never get. So eventually you do have to get to the point where you say, here are my products and services. Here is a ballpark price. Here is how you will feel when we're finished. And here's how you can do that. Give them your calendar link or, or however that works. But don't be afraid of making that ask eventually. Please let me know if um, you have any questions or concerns on that. Here to help.